Sam Bankman Freed and CZ are at war right now. Some of the biggest crypto exchanges are at war. There's been an ongoing battle on Twitter and I'm gonna show you later in this video that has been absolutely insane. Tweet after tweet after tweet, they're just honestly going back and forth at it. There's two sides to this. There's Sam Bankman Freed, SBF as people know, the CEO of FTX and CZ the CEO of Binance. There's been a lot of rumors exposed about FTX. BitBoy Crypto and his team have dove deep into this and exposed a lot of what they're doing. Whereas CZ is trying to do it for the people and it seems like FTX is doing it for the money. I hope you guys understand this is very important in the crypto space right now. These companies are worth billions of dollars. These are huge players. They have a lot of money and they have a lot of influence on the crypto space, governments, and people throughout the entire world. What what happens during this moment right now can determine a lot for the future of crypto. I think how this plays out can determine regulations on crypto, what exchanges we can buy and sell from, and a lot more stuff. So stay tuned. CZ tweeted this not too long ago. He says, as part of Binance exit from FTX equity last year, Binance received roughly 2.1 billion USD equivalent in cash, parentheses BUSD and FTT. Due to recent revelations, uh, that have come to light, we have decided to liquidate any remaining FTT on our books. And that's about $500 million or half a billion dollars. They said, he later explains that something is going on behind the scenes that they, it came to light, came to be, and they just found out about, which is not cool. I believe CZ is actually for the people. He wants whatever is best for us and not... Um, I don't know. The more I look into Sam Bankman Freed, the more I realize like maybe he's not for the people. And I learned a lot of it because of uh, BitBoy Cri Crypto. Let's pull up Sam Bankman Freed. A lot of people are hating on this guy right now. There's a lot of uh, insane things going out, so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see what what happens of all this. Some of the tweets that are going out right now though are insane. A lot of people are saying that they are having a hard time withdrawing from their wallets on FTX. See, even if the FTX rumors are not true, I need to safeguard my capital. Capital panic can be expensive. So, you know, a lot of people are withdrawing their funds from FTX because you don't know what's gonna happen. This guy's pretty interesting, this guy that tweeted this. So FTX, this crypto exchange, prints FTT out of thin air. FTX lends FTT to Almeida Research, which is the company that Sam Bankman Freed started. And Almeida Research borrows USD stables against FTT. So they can print this out of thin air, but then borrows USD against it? Doesn't seem right to me. Um, they also, uh, Almeida Research sends USD stables to FTX. Repeat, it's an infinity money. And he kind of did like a little chart to show that. It's absolutely insane what's going on. So I don't know what's gonna play of all this, but something big's gonna happen. You can see here, Binance CEO, CZ, which we just saw, says the company will liquidate its $500 million FTX, FTX position because they won't support people who lobby against other industry players behind their back. That's why I think CZ, the CEO of Binance, is for the people. And maybe FTX is just trying to make money, trying to get the money. I don't know, it's kind of interesting what's going on. I don't know if you guys know Carl from the moon, he's a big crypto influencer, made a lot of money, lives in Dubai. But he said, rumor I heard, Almeida Research is bankrupt. Source, someone who might know. Breaking now, Binance sells all FTT tokens due to recent revelations. What relations? Is FTX going down? Could this be like a Luna situation? You guys remember Luna? It went straight to zero. Could that be what's happening right now? Could be. If this company is bankrupt, then absolutely. They're gonna have to sell everything to cover every to cover their their butts, you know? Again, this is from BitBoy Crypto or Ben Armstrong. Everyone is waiting to hear me say, I told you so, about FTX being rumored to be insolvent. I'm actually not going to do this. I certainly urge people to close their FTX accounts, but not because they're insolvent. 
do what you have to do with your funds. Because they could, they could hold it. A lot of these crypto exchanges, when you sign up, you agree to a lot of terms. And some of the terms are if the company starts to go bankrupt, they can sell your funds to cover their losses, to cover them going into bankruptcy or whatever. It's pretty scary to be honest. And that's why people recommend not your keys, not your coins, get your crypto off exchanges because it can really screw you over. It can be terrible. Another tweet, get your funds out of FTX. This is financial advice. He's a big crypto influencer. FTX's stable coin reserve just reached a low. 51 million as of now, minus 93% over the last two weeks. So it seems like people knew this was going to happen. And so they started selling two weeks ago before any of us retail investors, small investors even knew about it. We had no idea. I didn't. I don't know if anyone else did, but I had no idea. I was shed light on it from BitBoy Crypto. And that's when I started to look into it a little bit. But I think there's more I need to learn. And I think there's more going to be brought to light after all of this, it's crazy. So after all of this, what should you learn? You should learn to keep your crypto off exchanges. Don't trust anyone but yourself because it's if it's not your keys, it's not your coins. So I recommend if you have crypto on exchanges or anything, take it off of it, put it on a hardware wallet and put it in a safe, keep it safe somewhere where you only have possession of it and no one else does. Thanks for watching. This is Invest with Colton. I'll see you guys on the flip. Peace.